हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू डेंटिस्टनरी होप यू गाइस आर एंजॉइंग योर न्यू जर्नी इन द फील्ड ऑफ डेंटिस्ट्री इन फिजियोलॉजी दिस इज आवर फर्स्ट लेक्चर वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ ब्रीफ सेशन ऑन द टॉपिक इंट्रोडक्शन टू ब्लड सो व्हाट इज ब्लड इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ लिक्विड कनेक्टिव टिश्यू ब्लड इज अ बॉडी फ्लूड इन द सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम ऑफ ह्यूमंस एंड अदर वर्टिब्रेट्स it delivers necessary substances such as nutrients and oxygen to the cells the other functions of blood are mentioned in the upcoming slides you guys can easily take the screenshot of these slides else we'll soon be providing you these ppts the next topic is composition of blood blood consists of 55% of liquid plasma and 40 to 45% of formed elements next we have plasma plasma is the colorless liquid part of blood in which the blood cells float it contains salts and proteins in which the red and white blood cells are suspended it is primarily water in which protein salts nutrients and other wastes are dissolved if we come to see the components of plasma we have 90% of it occupied by water 9% is of organic substances which includes plasma protein and plasma lipids plasma protein we all know includes albumin and globulin what are plasma lipids they comprises of cholesterol triglycerides and phospholipids and the remaining percent is occupied by the inorganic substances and gases the inorganic substances includes cations and anions like the na plus ions k plus ions chlorides bicarbonates phosphates and so on next we have the rbcs or the red blood cells red blood cells are also known as erythrocytes they comprises of 62.5% of water 35% of hemoglobin 2.5% of sugar lipids and proteins rbc cells are circular biconcave and non nucleated they also has elastic cell membrane the average rbc count in human blood is approximately 5.5 million per milliliter cube its count is higher in neonates athletes and other highlanders hope you guys know what are highlanders the people who live at high altitudes are known as highlanders the main component of rbc is hemoglobin the proper description regarding hemoglobin will be taught in our next lecture next we have the white blood cells what are white blood cells they are known as leukocytes they are colorless and are much larger in compared to the red blood cells they are the part of immune system that defends against the foreign invaders unlike rbcs they are nucleated and are derived from the multipotent stem cells normal wbc count is approximately 4000 to 11000 per milliliter cube their life span depends on the body so they have life span of months or even years next we have the platelets platelets are also known as thrombocytes they are the fragments of large cells the nucleus is absent and they are random shaped the normal platelet count is nearly 1.5 to 4 lakh per milliliter cube coming on to our next topic functions of blood the most important function of blood is transport and the other functions include 
respiration where the exchange of gases take place tropic excretive regulative maintenance of body temperature and so on next we have the hematocrit what are hematocrit they are also known as the packed cell volume or erythrocyte volume fraction it is the volume percentage of red blood cells in the blood 40 to 48 percent is normal for men whereas for women it is nearly 36 to 42 percent related to this we have esr that is the erythrocyte sedimentation rate it is a blood test that can reveal the inflammatory activity in your body it is not a stand alone diagnostic tool but yeah it can help your doctor to diagnose or monitor the progress of an inflammatory disease apart from this there are various other factors that affect esr which will be explained in details in further lectures so here's the end of today's lecture hope you guys enjoyed the lecture if you have any questions regarding today's lecture kindly comment we'll try to answer all those questions before our next lecture thank you for supporting this channel keep sharing and uh, provide love for this channel thank you